Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Baxter and I'm a developer advocate for Bluemix at IBM. And I'm back with the uh, last uh, video in our series about hybrid clouds and the cloud integration service in Bluemix. And in the last video we left off uh, in Cast Iron Live um, and we had just uploaded our project to Cast Iron Live uh, and we had deployed it. Um, but uh, I have gone back and just made a couple of changes. Uh, I changed, uh, in our last video, we had uh, the orchestrations called Orchestration and Orchestration 1, and you had no idea what those orchestrations actually did. So I went back and renamed those orchestrations and redeployed with the updated names. But besides that, uh, this is exactly the same as uh, what we left off in the last video. So we have our orchestrations now deployed to Cast Iron Live, and we can now uh, start using these orchestrations to talk to our server running behind the firewall with our REST APIs on it uh, from our applications in Bluemix. So uh, now it's our opportunity to go back to Bluemix here and start creating an enterprise API. So I'm going to um, click the Create Enterprise API button. And it's going to ask me for some details about my API. I'm going to say, I'm going to call this API Get All To Do's. And I'll give it a very obvious description. That's all to do's. And since our uh, APIs, REST APIs, are coming from Cast Iron Live uh, orchestrations, we're going to select the middle box here. And we have to sign into Cast Iron Live. So we're going to enter our Cast Iron Live username and password. And I'm using the evaluation version, so I'm going to check off evaluation and then click sign in. Uh, once you sign in, um, you'll be able to select the orchestration you want to use for your API. So you can see that we have both of our orchestrations listed here uh, that we've now uploaded uh, to Cast Iron Live um, uh, available for us to select. So this is the one to get all to do. So I'm going to choose the get to do's orchestration. And you want to choose the method. This this portion portion of the cloud integration service where you're defining the API. This is more for documentation purposes rather than functionality. Um, but you want to make sure that obviously you choose at least the right uh, HTTP method you need to use for this API. And um, also, it's good to give a description and add any parameters. You can even add sample code, uh, so snippets of small code, uh, how to use the API if you want, which is really good for for others that might not be familiar with it. So we'll give it a simple description and uh, we'll click Create API. And now uh, you'll see that once we've done that, uh, we are, are left with uh, an actual URL to use this API. You know, notice that the URL is actually pointing to the Cast Iron Live server and um, it is not pointing to our, uh, the URL of the uh, machine that is behind the firewall at all, so it's not exposed. Uh, so if we copy this API and we go to uh, the REST client here and uh, input the API and select the method and click send, uh, you'll get prompted for authentication. So this again, um, all the APIs that you define in Cast Iron Live are protected by authentic basic authentication. So uh, you just need to enter your um, Cast Iron Live credentials here. And my password. And you'll see that we got a 200 back and we should see all of our to-dos. So here we have all of our to-dos uh, coming from this URL, which is uh, a URL uh, provided by Cast Iron Live. And Cast Iron Live is then talking to our server behind the firewall using our orchestrations we defined to fetch all the to-dos. Um, and if I open a, uh, another REST client window, and go to the uh, URL to the API uh, using the server behind the firewall and click send. We'll see that the exact same data is coming back from both APIs, except one is going uh, through Cast Iron Live through the public cloud, and the other one is using the network that I'm connected to behind the firewall to uh, fetch the data. So our, our API uh, appears to be working properly. So uh, now that we have our APIs defined, and you can go back and uh, go ahead and define uh, additional APIs. So if I wanted to create an API for um, uh, for the post uh, the put request that we also created to update a to do, we could do that as well. But 
it's pretty much the same as doing get, so I'm not going to do that right now. Um, but now I can go ahead and create an application and use these APIs within that application. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go to our catalog here, and I'm just going to create a very simple uh, Node.js runtime for now. And we're going to call it uh, CI demo. And click create. And while this is starting, uh, I'm going to click uh, connect an add on. And I want my cloud integration add on. And even though this looks like you might be creating a new cloud integration add on, you're actually not. It's going to leverage the one that you've already uh, have created. Um, so just click Create here, and it will be the exact same add-on that you already have created, so you're not going to create another instance here. And click OK. Once the application has restarted, we can go to the Runtime tab. And if we scroll down and look at the environment variables, we'll see our cloud integration service. And we see that in the uh, VCAP services environment variable, uh, that we have uh, credentials, a username and password to connect uh, that we need to pass to the API for basic authentication. And we have our one API that we've created in our cloud integration service. And you see that it has the, the URL to cast our live and then the resource, uh, which is to do. So you append this resource to the end of this URL and you have the complete URL uh, to get all the to do's. Um, so uh, basically, you can access this information from your uh, application during runtime just by accessing the VCAP services environment variable just like you do in any other uh, Bluemix application and use these APIs. Uh, and that's how, essentially, how you will go ahead and fetch data uh, from an on-premise uh, application uh, in your public cloud-based application. Uh, so. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the, the three videos and learned uh, how you can use the, the cloud integration service and look forward to creating some more in the future.